Hey folks, welcome to the level two algebra skills video um, series. So in this video, we're going to be looking at expanding three brackets as one of our first skills. Okay, so let's get started. So, I mean, let's have a look at this particular question here. You guys should already know how to expand um, this particular quadratic. All right. So just in case you've forgotten, I'm going to do it for you here. So we've got x times x, which is x squared. Uh, x times 4 is 4x, 2 times x, which is 2x, and then 2 times 4, which equals to 8. So when we simplify this, we are going to get x squared plus 6x plus 8. All right, now that's with two brackets. What happens when we add a third bracket like that? So nothing really changes because we still do the same thing as what we've just done now except this part here these first two brackets now is going to equal this i hope you guys can see that and as for the x minus three that's just going to be attached at the end like this okay now what we need to do is repeat the process again as what we did with in the top here so we're going to go, oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Let me just see if I can get some nice colors to go along. So I'm going to take x squared and multiply it with x. So x squared times x is x cubed. And then x squared multiplied by negative 3. So I'm going to get negative 3x squared. Then I'm going to do 6x multiplied by x, which is going to be 6x squared. And then 6x multiplied by negative 3, which is negative 18x. Then I've got 8 times x, which is 8x. And then 8 times negative 3, which is negative 24. So now I should be able to simplify this. And when I simplify it, I'm going to get x cubed minus 3x squared. And 6x squared is going to be plus 3x squared. Uh, then I've got negative 18x plus 8x, which is going to be negative 10x and minus 24. Cool. That's literally how you do expanding for three brackets. But in saying that, I'm going to show you guys a couple of more examples real quickly. And then that'll be it for this short session, guys. So what happens in this case? So nothing much, except we're still going to um, do the the two brackets first get rid of the brackets first so I'm gonna leave X outside here as it is so X is just gonna kind of stay outside and then I'm gonna start looking at the two brackets so I've got 2x times 3x which is 6x squared 2x times 5 which is 10x negative 1 times 3x is gonna be negative 3x and negative 1 times 5 is negative 5 all right, so now what I need to do is I need to simplify whatever's inside the black bracket here. But I'm going to have x in the front. Nothing changes. Multiplied by. So simplifying this, I'm going to get 6x squared uh, plus 7x minus 5. So, well, hang on. Just need to get rid of this. So what I have is I've got this. Now I need to repeat the process again, multiplying by x. So I've got x times 6x squared, which equals to 6x cubed. Then I have x multiplied by 7x, which is going to equal 7x squared. And then I've got x multiplied by negative 5, which is negative 5x. And that's basically it for this particular question, guys. So again, you can do it in a different way. So what you could have done is, for example, on the side here, I'll show you guys. So if you have x, 2x minus 1 times 3x plus 5, what you could have done is you could have actually done uh, bring in the x with this bracket. So you would have ended up with 2x squared minus x multiplied by 3x plus 5. And what you'll notice is if you expand these two brackets, you will get the same answer here. Okay. Last question. And that's when something looks like this. All right. The most common mistake that I've seen people do with this type of question is quite similar when you have it with quadratic as well. So sometimes when people see x plus 3 squared, 
they straight away write this as x squared plus 9. Remember that this is actually incorrect because x plus 3 squared is actually equal to x plus 3 times x plus 3. And when we expand this, we're going to get x squared plus 6x plus 9. So remember that. All right. So same rules applies here with, when, with the cubic. Don't go away and actually write this as x cubed plus 3 cubed, which is 27. Because if you do that, you are incorrect. So what we need to do is expand the bracket out. So we're going to have x plus 3 times x plus 3 times x plus 3. Now, I've already worked out what x plus 3 squared is here. So I'm going to rewrite that as x squared plus 6x plus 9. And I need to multiply this with x plus 3. So x squared times x is going to be x cubed x squared times 3 is 3x squared, 6x times x is 6x squared, 6x times 3 is 18x, 9 times x, 9x, 9 times 3 is 27. So simplifying this, I would have x cubed, 3x squared and 6x squared is 9x squared, 18x and 9x is 27x, and plus 27 as the final part. So guys, that's basically it, um, how you actually expand uh, three brackets. And I've just shown you guys three different types of questions. Cool. All right, so that's basically it for this short video, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also share this video with your mates. And if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below. And thank you for watching.